By now, of a wheel, a machine gun, ammunition has been found, and in the best condition of all, a parachute. But there are fears that unexploded bombs lie buried underneath. We're going through the uh, archival history within the Ministry of Defence, uh, trying to ascertain what weapon load it carried uh, on its last mission during the war, and to find out some of the history of which of those weapons were dropped and where they were dropped. And that'll give us an idea of what we're looking for and what we might find on the wreckage. German warplanes targeted steelworks and the port of Teesside heavily during the early years of the Second World War. The crash in January 1942 is still remembered by people living on the river's south bank. You could see the airplane as it had crashed on its nose. The tail was stuck in the air. There was just hundreds of people. I think everybody in South Bank was, you know, went down to see it. The bodies of three of the four crew were recovered at the time. The fourth may be buried in the wreckage, which is now being sealed off. So far, we've cordoned off approximately 50 metres either side of the excavation. If the RAF finds live bombs, etc., that haven't gone off, they said that there may be a 1,000 metre radius will have to be evacuated. That's factories, houses? Factories, houses, local businesses, etc. Bomb disposal experts are awaiting the arrival of extra earth-moving equipment before moving onto the site. The recovery operation could take a week. Richard Wells, BBC News, Middlesbrough. William Hague has told a conference of Conservative women that he recognised...